This is exactly right. Hey, everybody. This is Lady to Lady, and we just want to let you know about our On the Pun tour. Hashtag On the Pun. <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> Beyonce. Um, so we're going around to the Pacific Northwest. If you live in that area or if you have friends, please let us then let us and them know about the show. Uh, on May 11th, we'll be in Seattle, Washington at the Jewel Box Theater, and we are doing a live podcast at that show, so come check us out. Mm-hmm. See the magic happen live. Guest TBA. Yeah. And uh, May 11th, we'll be in Portland, Oregon at Kickstand comedy may 13th we're back in seattle at comedy underground which we'll be doing stand-up at so there's two different shows if you live in seattle come to both may 14th (laughs) we're headed back down to oregon we're going to be in eugene oregon at the green room at doc's pad uh may 15th we're in salem oregon capital city theater May 16th, hello, we're in Humboldt, 420, hey. no drama. Uh, we're going to be at the Palm Lounge at the Eureka. Come say hi and get me high. Mm-hmm. May 17th, we're going to be in Oakland, California at the Night Light. May 18th, Ventura, California, Tessa's hometown hello. at the Wine Rack. Closing it all out, May 23rd, Los Angeles, California, back home at the UCB Theater. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be so much fun. We want you to come out and see us. You can find out all the details and get tickets on ladytoladycomedy.com or all the info will be on maximumfun.org mm-hmm. on the calendar. And yeah, come out and see us if you live there. If you don't, just fly out in your private jet and uh, take us to our next destination. And then you're probably Beyonce, so fingers. Yeah. Obviously. We'll see Can't you. Wait to see you, see you there. Bye. Bye. We got Barbara Brandy and of course they- a show for everyone that's the fucking best come on baby it's time to hang out with your favorite ladies ladies and ladies ladies and ladies oh back in the glam cave back in the glam cave baby epic dance that was really good you know what i think it was because we didn't have a guest and sometimes when there's guests here i feel embarrassed right so i can't fully dance to our theme song (laughs) but when it's just us i just go for it you never feel embarrassed in front of us no it's also funny because i i'm just now thinking about this so we all listen to the podcast while we're recording with headphones which means if somebody were to walk through the door it would be silence (laughs) oh yeah and then us just dancing (laughs) no one is here yeah we're only hearing that (laughs) just silently just dancing and flailing around we're doing our own silent disco out here we are the lady lady theme song um so if you can't tell we don't have a guest this time we're doing a mailbag episode the infamous mailbag we've been teasing for months we have (laughs) the mail finally came our postman sucks Ooh, girl we got she mail how many drag race references am i gonna make on this show uh four thousand someone's been collating them Yeah. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna we're doing a mailbag episode where we read through some of your old lady problems that you sent because you guys have been sending us a lot of awesome ones. You know, we only yeah. do one an episode, so we're a little bit uh, backlogged, and we're doing a colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how those work. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready to cleanse yourself of your problems Wait, because we that? are full of shit. Um, <laughs> colonics, colonics. That's I the s- thing where you poop on purpose. I said colonoscopy. Isn't that the same? That's thing? the thing where you check for butt cancer. Oh, oh yeah. But I thought that it emptied you out. You have to take a thing that makes you poop the day before. Oh, okay. Yeah. So okay. that your butt's clear for the camera. Basically, the answer the is... <laughs> the answer to every lady problem is have a solid BM before considering sure. what has, happens next. Yeah, uh, yeah. That honestly probably is a pretty good idea. Yeah. Just like before you make major life decisions. Take a shower. Take a long shower or... Well, we've got yeah. a drought. So yeah, take a bath. So just poop. <laughs> Yeah, have some fiber and some coffee in the morning, take a <laughs> shit, and then tackle Man, your day. Yeah, nothing like, yeah, coffee really really gets in there. I love it. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> okay. Well, I've been talking. talking about poop so much for like the last three days. <laughs> Runners love talking about poop. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Because it's right around the corner. It's like yeah. you never know. Well, one leads to the other, yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lady problems, okay. huh? Let's do it. <laughs> you got them. We, we can maybe help. Hopefully we can. Talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> lady, lady problems. Lady, lady problems. Lady problems. Lady problems. Lady problems. Such a good Vogue moment at mm-hmm. the end. Yeah, it Definitely really is. Definitely have your hands around your face. Mm-hmm. 
Um, okay, lady problems. If you have a lady problem, write to us at lady to lady at maximum fun dot org. Gasm. Gasm. <laughs> come, 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 come. Um, and write to us and we'll get you maybe on the next episode, maybe in the next mailbag. Yeah. As soon as we can. We'll see what happens. Maybe. Um, <laughs> Babs, okay. did you see on Instagram I was watching I, Annie? I know. I I saw, I'm sorry I didn't write. <laughs> it's I didn't okay. I was like, comment. I shouted out to her and she didn't even comment. <laughs> I didn't even like it. Oh, Wait. I looked at it. Sometimes, <laughs> you, sometimes <laughs> you look and you forget to like. You, you got to get that like in there. I mean, Come on. I felt no. like, you know, I kind of got help. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a... <laughs> I'm sorry, but I tagged Robert in this Annie picture. <laughs> she didn't even. Like. That's my lady problem. <laughs> <laughs> so I tagged my friend in a picture. Um, okay. Uh, dear lady to lady, I have a couple of questions for you. I'll start with a bit of a backstory. I'm 16 year old. Year that out. I'm 16 year. That was me messing up, not the. <laughs> Okay, let's go back. They just mashed the keyboard. (laughs) I'm 16 years old and I haven't had a boyfriend since first grade. (laughs) I don't even think that really counts. So I obviously haven't had my first kiss either. When did you all have your first kiss? I know I'm only 16, but those facts come from how shy I am. I don't have a lot of friends and only one guy friend of those. I'm scared that I will never be able to break out of my shell and be comfortable around males. How do you suggest that I go about this? How did you all start your first relationships and when? Thank you so much for your help. Um, well, this is a good one. Mm-hmm. I Gosh, we talked about this before. Sometimes I forget that there's like young women listening to yeah. this and I feel bad. Are we going to get sued? No. Okay. They've chosen. To, don't you have to sign something? When I you, don't care. Whatever. Yeah. All right. We have the explicit <laughs> thing on our thing. It's fine. I like that one girl asked us for dick pics and like I texted both of you and I was like, I should ask if she's 18, right? And everyone was she? like, yeah, she was 18. Well, she, she, she wrote, said. she said in writing that she was 18. <laughs> um <laughs> which is so yeah, you yeah, guys is, okay oh my gosh yeah so do we do first i mean i guess we do first relationship because we've yeah. all had the first grade boyfriend right we all yeah have... and that doesn't yeah that doesn't count. i said no you I didn't, didn't have a first no, grade boyfriend. no i had a guy i had two guys ask me and i didn't want to date them well, so i said i liked them just as friends i clicked they sent i had two notes that were sent to me that aw, said do you like the, me yes or no yes and no boxes and both of them i flipped over and wrote yes but as a friend <laughs> Oh, you didn't click the yes box. Oh, I guess that would like be a tease. Yeah, I didn't want to tease them. I just put an arrow and said, look on the other side. That's thoughtful. My uh, Doug Reader brought me a rose and I fell for that. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, that's sweet. I don't remember my like first fake boyfriend. Oh, I guess it was probably it was probably the guy in seventh grade who Mm -hmm. broke up with me because I didn't shave my armpits or whatever. (laughs) (laughs) We've already talked about that on here, but Mm -hmm. I'm sure I had like crushes before that, but I don't think I had like, he's my boyfriend, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think, I mean, I wasn't interested in boys in like first and second grade. I think I just wanted to be like my teenage cousins. Yeah. Yeah. To be carried as my secret boyfriend for like 10 years. Of course. Oh yeah. You know, nobody else could hold a candle to him. So what are you going to do? My first real boyfriend was in ninth grade. And our first kiss was a dare at an anti homecoming dance that I threw. That you threw because in our old high school, uh, seniors bought tickets first, then juniors, then sophomores. So freshmen usually didn't have any tickets left, uh, and I hated that system. So I threw an anti homecoming party, and all my friends Hell came yeah. there instead. That's Obviously, what I. That sounds so much more fun. Yeah, I've always done that. Like every time, like I remember I threw an anti Valentine's Day party one time because I my ex-boyfriend had took a girl and I thought it was too soon after our breakup for him to have a date to a dance. So I threw a party and then all of our friends came to that instead <laughs> of dancing with him at the dance. Did you I throw just plot revenge all the time. Did you recently <laughs> throw an anti-vaxxers party? <laughs> hey. <laughs> the most dangerous party in the West. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. No, but that first kiss was like uh, our, our two friends were dancing next to each other and we both started dating on the same night and they kissed and then they looked at us and like then he kissed me and i was like okay so i guess my first kiss is kind of a joke okay that's fine we broke up nine months later it was a joke well it was just like it was like a that like you dare. won't do yeah it was yeah. like a dare so it wasn't like i mean serious. that's fine it doesn't matter that's like it doesn't, good it doesn't matter first kiss. yeah i mean if you really this is not okay i'm not really supposed to like legally tell you this probably but like <laughs> <laughs> oh boy uh, <laughs> we have already told our first kiss stories though so we probably yeah. what is it i don't remember well, mine was the same night the i had a threesome this the ecstasy threesome no no that was just alcohol but it was oh. my first night yeah I, you know my first kiss led to my first threesome um <laughs> classic <death. laughs> Test, see, Tess doesn't do home. anything. Yeah, no, I don't. And I know this is. I'm not supposed to tell you this, but I, a little alcohol might might uh, help. 
<laughs> oh, oh, you're the 16 year old. Yeah, that, you know, steal some wine coolers. No, don't your, tell her that. Don't. She doesn't need to. No, you know what? I'm going to tell you this. Everyone else is not going to tell you this because they'll be afraid to get sued. <laughs> Find someone with a fake ID, share a wine cooler, <laughs> get a little buzzed, and hook up. Alcohol is a great lubricant for stuff like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm serious. But she, she's not even saying, she's not like, I guess she really wants her first kiss, but I don't think force it either. It's not forcing it. It just helps you get over like the nerves. Yes, but if you're in the situation, I wouldn't. Ju- I mean, I don't, uh, whatever. What am I saying? I've. What is the Dare program? Uh, w- what happens now? What happens? What does the Dare program teach that happens now? I think <laughs> Dare program. Is a guy eats his own skin or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah no, I, I think if my advice. I, I was drunk for my first kiss. Uh, I think it really helped get over the nerves. It led to an interesting. How old were you? Fifteen. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. So maybe yeah, find someone to get you some booze. I'm sorry. It's I don't true. think it's that hard to find a boy to kiss, though. No, I think it's about getting the over the nerve. It's nerves. the nerve. It's yeah. the nerve of it. Okay. I also don't think it's a big deal if you don't have your first kiss. I agree. Like it's right not. now, it's, it's not. not like it's it'll it'll it's going happen, to happen naturally whenever you find somebody that you like, you know, or someone that you just mildly kind of know. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> mine. <laughs> mine too. was in was in eighth grade and. Mm. I've already told the story, but um, mine was in eighth grade and he was a year younger than me and we dated, quote unquote, never spoke to each other Mm -hmm. through other friends we dated. And then we were at the football game of the high school and we were sitting up on the hill and through my best friend's little sister, we communicated that we wanted to kiss that night. Oh, man. No, it is not cute. Trust me. And then we went to a hill like on the, <laughs> on the other side of the thing. We talked about what the kiss was going to be like for an hour. Are you serious? You just negotiated yes. terms? We negotiated the kiss because we were both scared because we'd never done it before. Aww. We talked about it for an hour. Mm-hmm. He had braces and I didn't. Mm-hmm. So we agreed that it would be a closed mouth kiss. Yes. He did not close. He opened his mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> Classic he, boy. He opened his mouth and put <laughs> it on top of my closed mouth. Ooh. So he just mashed his braces onto the top of my face Ew. for like five minutes. Yeah, it's going to suck, by the way, your first kiss. Yeah. It's going to be awful. So yeah. it is good to it's, just get it out of the way. Again, yeah. booze. Yeah, booze. Get it out of the way. Uh, he put his, yeah, he just if put his braces to. on top of my face and then we like broke up via friends like the next day because <laughs> it was not good. Um, yeah. So, you know, we have varying first kiss Very, stories varying here. stories, yeah. yeah. But Which is a good point. sign that like, you don't know, yeah. it's just going to happen. I would say, yeah, like, you know, if there's some parties and stuff, go to that. Don't mm-hmm. feel forced in anything. Just if you want to kiss somebody, yeah. I don't know. You've got a guy friend. Fucking kiss him. Who cares? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't be afraid to hook up with your guy friends. That's absolutely what they're for. Yeah. High it's high school. Fuck yeah. it. You know? For sure. Um. Uh. Yeah. Our, this is. We're not very good at this. No, I think we're great at it. No. <laughs> uh, how did you start? Start your. How did you start your first relationships? Is uh, another question in there. We. Because my. Th- we I mean, were friends first. Mm-hmm. I've always like my relationships that Matt have ever mattered have always been friends first. Same here. Um, developing a pattern here. Mm-hmm. I was on ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> my so, first. The lady problems is just like a ruse to show test. <laughs> like th- this is your life. <laughs> a I do of think it episodes. is just like it really is just like you have to see who you have a crush on and where it goes and you yeah. can you know. Oh, I remember though. That's like. Being a teenager and having oh a gnarly crush on someone yeah. is devastating. Yeah, it is. If oh. you're also like, I want to put this out there. I was never really boy crazy in high school. If you're if you're not boy crazy, which is perfectly fine. Like, don't feel like you need to force that. With yeah, yourself. it doesn't. No, it's, it's perfectly fine. Like, so a lot of people aren't. A lot of people are. It's everybody has their own ways. But like, don't feel like you do what you think is natural to you. And if that means that you are shy and you have a couple of good friends and you have a couple of good guy friends, like quantity or quality matters a lot more than quantity with that stuff. Also, I would like to say uh, whoever you date in high school is literally going to be a stranger that you barely remember for most yes. of your life. <laughs> yeah. Very true. So don't worry too much about yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. No, your high school, the people you date in high school by and large will be uh, an Instagram account that you check uh, in a very long line at the bank. Once every nine months, right? And you're then like, you oh, say, him. "Yeah, you're yeah. like, oh, what? I wonder what yeah, that person." Yeah, whoever up you to. kiss it is going. Yeah, is going to turn into oh, yeah, them. That, yeah. And that's so. Don't worry about it. That really, much. don't worry about yeah, it. it. Yeah, it feel. I know it feels very important feels forever and intense right now. But I, I, it, I don't want hope this doesn't come across as yeah. condescending. But it's like it really. With the passage of time, it will not. Matter. Yeah, don't worry. It, time is a thing that does that doesn't exist when you're like, 16. Yeah. No. you know, like it is forever and it is now and it will always be this way. Yeah. And, and then we get older and we're like, not. oh no, shit takes. Life is very long. Mm-hmm. You know, you're you're gonna have a lot of opportunities to kiss guys. Yeah. Just 
enjoy high school and don't mm-hmm. worry about it too much. And yeah, if you want to drink a wine cooler and kiss a boy, go for it. Mm-hmm. If not, don't. I don't know. Yeah. That's that. I mean, I, I, I've got a hot tip. I, you could passing notes. Do people still do that? Probably not. Isn't that sad? They don't. That is sad. Cause that's how I, probably right. How I told a lot of guys. I mean, I was not shy. So I was definitely like, I like you secret admirer. It's me. That was pretty much. (laughs) I love your secret admirer (laughs) stories. Lots of secret (laughs) admirer. Very obvious. But if you really like a boy, do that. It's really exciting. It is exciting. Well, I think now the kids do it on Instagram. Yeah, there is no secret admirer things. No, I mean, I don't know. Maybe if you're a teenager, maybe you can let us know. How are you guys hitting each other up? Yeah, I don't Texting. know. Snapchat. 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 Probably Snapchat. Snapchat. Texting. It's probably yeah. Snapchat. I think it's some kind of Snapchat. Snapchat. <laughs> Snapchat. Snapchat. I have Snapchat. Snap- is Snapchat Good. what the kids are doing? <laughs> I have a Snapchat and like I don't. I, it's every we time should it Snapchat beep- each other because it's fun when you start doing it, even though yeah. it's confusing. And every weird. time it beeps at me, I'm like, oh, I gotta look at something for seven seconds. I can't wait. I yeah, can't wait to look at a shitty video. For seven I don't need seconds. another thing. Yeah, it feels like Periscope, a lot. guys. Um, Periscope's the uh, one. I will say I, I do want to say this though. If you if you are drinking in high school, just like be careful and make sure you always have somebody yeah. that is your got your back. Be wise because yeah. don't yeah. drive. Yeah, don't drive and like have a friend. Be around people you trust. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely yeah. be around people you trust. Yeah, and don't drink one. too. Oh, I will tell you this about booze in high school. It takes much less alcohol than you think it will to get you drunk. <laughs> mm-hmm. So start small. One drink, one two drink, drinks. You're probably most, gonna be fine. Say. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. I'm advocating that you drink i am i had i had some really really good memories drinking in high school <laughs> i think i'm serious we're at all different levels though because yes. brandy has never drank i, I didn't have. drink until i was 21 and test when she's younger mm-hmm. and we've all had great experiences so yeah, yeah like think, it doesn't it's not none of this is an essential part of of who you are and what no. you want to become but Just, i can't stress that enough if you're in high school don't drink and drive seriously <laughs> yeah please don't. Do drink. if you're any, any age, age, any age don't no, but i know it. but especially if you're just starting to experiment with alcohol don't be yeah. if you yeah you especially have the added invincibility of being yeah 16. you're not fucking invincible no, call no. your mom it's worth getting grounded yeah for real and maybe your mom knows a nice young man who you get a kiss <laughs> <laughs> okay okay I hope, Next I hope that <clears throat> hi ladies love your show oh thanks I recently discovered and I've been listening to all your previous episodes. You're hilarious. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you. So my lady problem is a bit silly. My boyfriend has bits and pieces of his ex-girlfriend all over in places that don't or shouldn't matter, but sort of does. For example, he has photos of her all over his Facebook. All of her books slash writing are still saved onto his Kindle. And they went to college together, so they shared the same group of friends. She was a huge part of his life, and because I'm constantly finding remnants of her in their past relationship, I find myself feeling very insecure. My insecurities have hurt my previous relationship, and it was a similar situation where my ex had kept love letters and photos he shared with his ex-girlfriend. This is why I keep trying to reassure myself. I'm trying to think it's not a big deal and that I'm blowing things out of proportion. I am a jealous person, but I'm okay with wondering eyes, as I know that's an instinctual behavior. However, things like this make me feel disrespected and as if my boyfriend hasn't completely gotten over his ex. I know I should communicate my concerns to him, but because it was an issue in my past relationship, I don't feel comfortable bringing them up. It also makes me feel incredibly small and lame for having to speak about such petty matters. Do you ladies have any suggestions on how I should deal with it or bring it up to him? I feel it's ego crushing to have as an adult tell my significant other that his Facebook photos are bothering me. It feels so middle school. LOL. Anyways, thanks in advance for any input. She also sent a PS that I want to read too. What's the PS? Um, I had previously written about my concerns and forgot to add that his mom loved her. Me, not so much. Oof. His ex went to dental school and I didn't finish college. Also, I'm not good at hiding my emotions. And when I sense that someone doesn't like my attitude, is it? doesn't like me my attitude is f you too pretty sure she felt it uh when we met although i tried really hard to hide it his dad seems to love me though should i uh dress this to him or act like it doesn't bother me he's an only child and although he's not a mama's boy he does care about his mom a lot oh that's a whole other one Uh, yeah (laughs) um okay well first of all don't feel bad uh that you don't don't say that it's a silly problem it's not silly you have a legitimate you know concern so don't feel bad that you're like feeling weird about this and also we live in the age of facebook you know it's not it's not a middle school thing Mm -hmm. it is an adult thing that we all are on and we all deal with our whole lives are on our past on there yeah yeah Yeah. so don't feel like it's a little kid thing to be upset about it Mm because it's legitimate like we're all seeing everyone's lives on there all the time i don't think that's weird at all yeah i think you're definitely well within your rights to ask that he doesn't have like her detritus everywhere 
Um, I mean, I yeah, I I um, recently my boyfriend was at my house and he like found a picture of me that mm-hmm. I kept with someone and it, like you know made him feel weird. And I just thought about it and I was like, yeah, you know, he's right. And I just got mm-hmm. rid of it. And it, it felt good to me to just be like, I, this was in my past. I don't really need this anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm always going to remember this thing. It's fine. You know? Right. And of course, that wasn't like a big, long relationship. That's different. Because when you really like combine your life with somebody, of course, their shit's going to be everywhere. Kind of always. Really. Yeah. It's it's hard to like fully get rid of that unless you do like a legit like, I'm putting everything of theirs in a box and that's it. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And that also can seem like if you're the person that has, it's, it's hard because like if you're with someone for a long time, it's not really fair to ask someone to delete like those years of their life. Yeah. Those were years that they lived and you kind of have mm-hmm. the right to those memories. But also like those experience made them the person that, that you love now. Yeah. You know, I mean, whatever happened with that relationship, he learned a lot from it and you know, that, that made him a better boyfriend for you down the line. Yeah. That said, to see like visual proof of it, I think mm-hmm. is really tough. Yeah. I sometimes, I mean, I see stuff of my, my boyfriend's ex and it, it feels weird, but it's like, I just know that that's a part of his past. Yeah. And like, like he has a painting in his room that she gave to him, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So how do you feel about that? I I mean, it's, it's, I don't know. It's just, it's, it was, it was his life. Like, I'm not gonna, right. you know, he yeah. also has a picture of me in his room. Like, mm-hmm. it's not like it's just her shit everywhere or yeah. something. So I don't, I, I don't really feel that weird about it because I know it's part of his past and that he loves me and that we're in mm-hmm. what we are now for a reason, you know? Yeah. Are they still friends? She doesn't, the boyfriend and the ex. She said they share the same friend group. Friend so group, I don't know. Yeah. She doesn't say if like That's they, hard. I mean, that's, that's really I'm hard. Not, I haven't dealt with that. Yeah. I haven't either. Um, I think yeah. you might have to say something to him because it probably sounds like you're going to go nuts. About yeah, I don't want it to fester and build up. And I kind of get the feeling that your ex boyfriend was kind of maybe gaslighting you a little bit. Like it sounds like you have. What is that? I don't know what that means. Gaslighting is where you have a legitimate concern and, and somebody tells you that you're crazy. Yeah. Like, yes. Your yeah, ex probably did Yeah, it sounds like you're really lot. concerned yeah. about people thinking you're, you know, mm-hmm. nuts or whatever. What? And a lot of. It, and don't worry about that. We all have insecurities. It's human. Yeah. It's And some of us more than others, whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. If you're in a relationship where you feel like that and you need to, like, reassure yourself, talk to him about it and you're going to feel better, I think. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. And especially if you say it in a very non-accusatory tone. Right. I don't think if my boyfriend said, whatever he said, if some, he told me something was making him uncomfortable in a calm way, yeah. there's no way I would react like, oh, you're crazy. I would just be like, oh, I didn't realize that was making you uncomfortable. Yeah. I, yeah he, pro- he, he might have no idea. Know. He probably has no right. idea. Most of the, I mean, most most guys don't, like, think about that because like they're into you. They're yeah. like, oh yeah, that happened before. They don't realize that all. Yeah, this it's stuff. like uh, it, to me, mm-hmm. past relationships are like another lifetime. Yeah, sort it's of. Different you know, chapters. it's just like it, yeah, it was just like that was a whole different chapter in my life. And mm-hmm. though like there are some reminders around, mm-hmm. and I'm never gonna forget that experience. It doesn't mean that yeah. anything about what I have now. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I think the key is really treating him with respect and 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 recognizing that it's perfectly normal and I think common to feel mm-hmm. some kind of jealousy about your current boyfriend's ex. Yeah. Yeah, and don't compare it and with, I mean the th- stuff with his mom sounds awful like Oh yeah, so yeah. that I don't know about that uh, part. It's so hard with like that situation because that it can't really change. Yeah. I mean, I do think you're going to have to it sounds like you said, you know, you don't really put up like a Yeah. Uh you don't pretend mm-hmm. with the mom, but you might you're just going to kind of have to. It's yeah. just how it goes. How I yeah. think she doesn't say how long they've been broken up for, right? Cuz I mean, sometimes I feel like also a parent just needs to like Get used to the new person. Yeah, they just need to get used to the new person. They're just like, ah, oh, but I thought... Because parents just want their kids to be married and have babies. So when they see a relationship yeah. happen, they're just like, oh, this is going to be the woman that gives me grandchildren. And like to to have her go away and have to like start that process all over again, I, I think it just takes parents a little bit longer to like come to terms with that stuff. But she sure, certainly should I mean, be making her feel weird no, about she sh- that. No, like that's not definitely on the mom. No, that's completely on the mom. Especially- but I, but I also do think that she might be mm-hmm. projecting make, a little bit. She, yeah, because she seems like she's focusing on this ex so much. Yeah. She probably met the mom and was like, she likes it. You know, it's like, yeah, she likes the other one. If like she, if you make her, her mm-hmm. son happy, she's going to like you, you know, you just yeah. have to, yeah, she wants her, that. she wants her baby boy to be happy. But I do one. think it's your boyfriend's job to talk to your, his mom. If she if is becomes, stepping out of line. So like yeah. if the mom is making comments about, if she's making digs about your education and whatnot. I think you're well within your rights to say to your boyfriend, Hey, would you mind kind of 
mentioning to your mom that mm-hmm. that kind of makes me yeah and just try your best yes. to play nice mm-hmm. you know until it like hopefully blows over yeah. and it's okay yeah and like the older you get it's like your your boyfriend's parents and stuff it's like they're a part of your life but like your life is its own separate thing too as you get older it's like they they don't become this they aren't a part of your day-to-day you know yeah, like you you create the thing they're independently. tourists there sometimes yeah whatever. yeah exactly <laughs> um and then i mean i don't know see try not to look through like those old photos like hide them if you can you know if it, if it's if you know that it's a thing that is going to upset you after you have this conversation like just put Gosh, them away face, that is where i don't have like i don't have any old relationships photos on facebook because like i was yeah. i haven't been in anything since like for seven years since you know yeah. i do and i would happily take them down yeah sean asked me to i mean so yeah. I, if it's bothering you that much i don't think that it's a big deal to ask him to take them down yeah i don't think so either i mean he if you know if they mean something to him like he can just have them in a folder on his computer exactly you yeah. know i mean it's uh, yeah just you can untag himself or whatever you know if if it's just come to him reasonably with respect and like have a talk yeah yeah and there's something different if you feel like he's still harboring feelings for her or something but yeah that's a separate issue yeah but but it sounds like if you yeah if you just kind of like reasonably talk to him about it Mm -hmm. i think it should be should be fine Eh, it'll be fine yeah it's fine all right guys go fix a cup of tea uh we'll be back and we're back i'm brandy i'm barbara i'm tess and we're we're here with your lady problems yep yeah we are <laughs> <laughs> all right uh hi ladies i will be 21 on april 24th happy belated birthday happy birthday uh, and i will be going uh, and i will be going to be drinking for the first i will be drinking for the first time so what should i drink <laughs> oh. you guys you guys uh, good job appropriate age 21 yes. years old yes. tess uh, <laughs> may, may i suggest at some point at some point in the evening water Right That's on your twenty first birthday, you well, want to make sure. Tess that you says drink one water. alcoholic drink, one water. Mm-hmm. Also, if it is your first time drinking, yes, you you aren't going to need much. Not so at don't. All. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, you're you're gonna. I mean, you have to have a blowout. What am I saying? I know. I mean, my twenty first birthday. Oh my god. <laughs> uh boy. Uh, I mean, people <laughs> are going to buy you shots. Yes, they are. I interviewed Ben Kingsley, and then I flew to Iceland for a week on my twenty first birthday. I didn't know you interviewed Ben Kingsley. Yeah. Hey, for what? Cool. Yeah. In college, in college there was like a philadelphia film festival and that's i got amazing. asked to represent drexel yeah. yeah and i showed him a bunch of old footage of um of him and patrick stewart doing shakespeare together from the 70s and he started crying oh wow. wow. yeah and then you drank his tears and got drunk on that yeah basically and the power of ben <laughs> he gave me a hug afterwards because he was like i haven't looked at that footage or thought about that time in a really long time and that was some of the best years of my life oh that's yeah. so sweet i was just doing surf on acid shots at a bar in santa monica and then i woke up in a kimono <laughs> I don't remember. I honestly, I think I just had a party at my house or, you know. So wait, did you wait till you were 21 to drink? Pretty much. I, I drank like a little bit when I, I, was, I went to Ireland for like a few weeks when I was like 17 and I had a few drinks, but I didn't really get drunk until I was 21. So the few mm-hmm. drinks didn't get you drunk? I drank Smirnoff Ice. <laughs> and yeah. like, I drank like a few of those. I don't know. I probably sort of did. Really. But you don't remember bro. being like drunk, drunk. No, not really. Mm-hmm. I mean, my <laughs> I got drunk. Uh, okay, so your first alcohol. I say go with a wine co- Smirnoff Ice or some stuff. That's great. Tastes like Sprite. It's yummy. The problem with Smirnoff Ice is that it almost tastes too good. Yeah. So you can get into trouble. But the thing is, like you're lemonade. not going to be drinking like hard alcohol. You're going to want. You shouldn't do hard if, alcohol if you're not used to drinking. You're not going to want to go for the shit that tastes gross. So no, and beer tastes nasty until you get used yes. to it. Um. Yeah, I think that's a good call. That's why they, that's why wine coolers taste the way they do. They're a great introduction drink. Yeah. So I think here's your deal. I think you do. Don't even get a six pack. You get one of those like tall boy Smirnoff ices. I think that's a good intro. I think she's probably going to a bar. Okay, if you go to a bar, <laughs> then they're not going to serve Smirnoff ice. Twenty one shots is a really bad idea, right? Horrible yes. Idea. Okay. Don't ever do the there. amount of shots. <laughs> yes. Don't do your age in shots. Don't do that at all. Oh yes. dear God. Don't no. do that at all. You'll, I mean, you'll get alcohol poisoning. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Don't. And 
like like I said before, have have a buddy. Make sure people are there to have take care of you. Have a plan home have responsibly. A driver. Yes. Have a plan. Yes. We all this is we know this. She's you. asking I what know, drink she should get. Okay, if Moscow wanna... Mule is a good drink. Oh, Moscow Mule. Ginger so and good. anything is good. Ginger yes. and vodka, ginger and ginger whiskey. and whiskey. Uh, that's good. If you're at a bar, yeah, I think you go with ginger whiskey. Uh, vodka goes down real easy in the beginning. Right. You could do like to be, yeah. Can. It's your 21st mm-hmm. birthday. People are just gonna be buying you shit. So I would try to stick to two kinds of alcohol that night. If you're getting a shot, stick to one kind, like whiskey or vodka. And vodka. You know, and I, you know what I'm gonna advise? Stick to either whisk vodka. Vodka's yeah, for beginners. Stick to vodka. Vodka's for beginners. Stick to vodka. I want you to write in sharpie on one hand vodka, <laughs> and on the other hand water. And there you just go. keep because you're gonna get drunk and you're not gonna remember those things back and forth. Yeah. So, but beer is good too because they're a lot slower. But wait, what's the, I know, but beer tastes so gross until you're used to it. Yeah. What are the combinations of things she should not do? Um, no like, Jaeger, and no anything Jaeger, else. no Jaeger, and no that's Red Bull with error. anything, no Red Bull with anything, no anything that has the word bomb in it. Yeah. Okay. Um, this are, but it's her twenty four. Of course, that's all she's gonna do. I know. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. If you want to avoid feeling like shit, do all those things. It's gonna happen anyway. Just have just Gatorade at home. Have drink fun. It. Drink. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Eat a lot of Del Taco when you're done. But honestly, really, if you can avoid Jaeger, that's really good. Yeah, Jaeger really is awful. Yeah. Don't do that. I think I'm gonna recommend vodka cranberries. And for your shot, you know what's a fun shot? What? It's your birthday. Uh, chocolate cake shot. That's my favorite Ooh. shot. What is that? One? It's like frangelico and i want to say like lemon vodka i want i forget what it is but um you do that and then you take a lemon wedge and it tastes exactly like chocolate cake i would recommend that also a fun shot dr pepper flaming dr pepper mm. which is amaretto with something and then they set it on fire oh no it's okay it's a shot of amaretto they set it on fire then you drop it into half a glass of beer and then drink it and it tastes like Dr. Pepper. That goes against everything we just said, but that sounds awesome. <laughs> that one is really good. <laughs> and like a fun group one because everyone's like, it's on fire. Ha ha. Yeah. yeah. Or you can also go to sushi and do sake bombs. Uh, that's a fun shot too. You do <laughs> you do the shot on top of uh, chopsticks and then you bang the table and the Whoa. shot falls into what? your beer. This is way too that's exciting. That's advanced. Maybe wait till your 22nd birthday for that. And also, I don't want a bunch of sushi when I'm drinking. Ooh. Yeah, oh, come that'll, on. That'll come back up. Yeah. yeah. It'll be kind of rough. I'm good. Uh, d- don't drink a bunch of Malibu rum. Yes. Yeah, but that's, that's also like, a good beginner one. Is it? No, it's yeah. awful. It smells it like, like sunscreen. Sun yeah. yeah. Oh, but that was like Coke it. if you're not used to booze. It's not bad. Coca-Cola. Yeah. 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 Maybe. <laughs> what about, what about like, uh, <laughs> what are like those fancy bars that make drinks that don't taste like booze? Like a mixology bar? Yeah. Are those a good idea or not? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, vodka really doesn't have much of a taste. Okay. So if you do like vodka crayon or... Or like if even a vodka coke, it's not really gonna taste like booze. Vodka okay. coke, don't do that. Who does that shit? Me for like college, oh, all okay. of it. Make sure to say it's my birthday at yes. least twenty one times. Do yes. that. And twenty one. Oh man. <laughs> Record yourself yelling. I did it. <laughs> it's my special day. Okay, well, good, solve that one. Good luck. Get home safe. Brandy's so scared. Um, uh, okay, here's another one. I'm 21. My boyfriend is 35. We've been together since I was 18. We met, when we met, he was a dance instructor and was going through a breakup and was there as a friend. And I was there as a friend to hear his daily rants about his ex-girlfriend. Me really liking this guy, I stuck through it and eventually we got together when he was ready. He's still a dance instructor and deals with ladies on an everyday basis. Not the problem, though. The problem is when we first got together, we'd have night-long makeout sessions, really heated, but he knew I wanted to wait to have sex. He'd only be the second guy I slept with. Years passed by and slowly those nights stopped happening and now the only time we kiss is when he drops me off and now I want to have sex. Nope. Yeah. Mm. When I brought it up one night, he got really frustrated and told me if that's all they wanted that I wanted, I needed to find someone else. His explanation for not wanting to have sex is because he's trying to get his career as a cop going and simply isn't thinking about sex. Girl. Sorry. Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is very hard for me having such attraction towards this man really bothers me at night. I spend most nights crying myself to sleep. Oh, girl. Girl. Aww. Girl. I know he's very busy teaching 19 classes a week on top of a side job with a small company. Every time I bring it up, he gets very frustrated. I am feeling very abandoned and sending sexy pics and walking around in booty shorts, but no success. Do I keep waiting for this man I truly care for or should I move on? Is there another way to handle this or is it a lost case? I feel like being patient the same way he was patient with me when I wasn't ready to have sex, but it bothers me beyond belief thinking about all of his other partners and how they don't have to wait, didn't have to wait the way I do. Girl. Okay, first of all, 
leave. You're leave. done. Now. You're you gotta done. Get done. Out. You gotta get out. Take a fork in you. You are done. Do not give him another day of your life <laughs> no. in this relationship. Yeah. No. 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 I mean, no. I don't know what else to say, really. You're done. I'm sorry, no. but. I'm sorry. Yeah. It, it, he's crazy. I, if, <laughs> if he's 35 and you're 21, he doesn't. I don't. Yeah. No. There's so many. I have so many. <laughs> there's so many things. Like, the guy wants to have sex with you. He will find the fucking time. Yeah. He'll yeah. Find the, you have 19 classes a week. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a good th- just blanket statement, yes. ladies. If a guy wants to have sex, guys are never too busy for sex. If he doesn't yeah. want to fuck you, he doesn't want to fuck you. Yes, yeah. Um, he's avoiding it for some reason. Who knows what? Yeah. It sounds like he's just gotten in. You, you guys have gotten into a weird thing where it's yeah. been so long that now you're in a weird headspace, and I don't think it's gonna be fixed. It's not gonna here. get better from here. No, it's not. especially and frankly, if you're, yeah, he might be gay. Yeah, I, it's my my gut I, says that. My gut says that are asexual. And like, this is the thing. You you are fucking with your own self-esteem because you are chasing yes. him. You're better you're ta- than this. You're taking sexy pics. You're taking, you know, you're walking around in booty shorts. You're chasing him. Yeah. And that's fucking with your self-esteem. And you're becoming mm-hmm. a desperate person yes. to get that. And that's not fair to you. You don't need to be that. No. no. You know, no. you get you no. should just get to be with somebody who's like, hell yeah, I want to bone. Yeah. Your boyfriend should always want to bone. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, A W B baby, A W T B boning, A B B. No, but really, I mean, like you really, no one deserves to be with someone who doesn't make them feel attractive. No, yeah. this no. is a bunch of horseshit. You lose him like a bad fucking. You're habit. 21. You yes. you have so, you have all the time in the world. You'll yeah. find somebody next month, next yes. week, tomorrow, whatever. Yes. Yeah, if necessary, you. I don't. Right now, as you're listening to this, text him. You've done. You've done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This the, this guy and it and it it's bullshit that he's making you feel bad when no he's turning it. it around on her. No, you absolutely yeah. should not feel bad. That is that no. is bullshit. This guy sounds really manipulative. I hate mm-hmm. it. Yes, it do- I does. hate it. It sounds like he wanted to check if he ch- wanted to check the box of like I have a girlfriend mm-hmm. and then not do anything physical for whatever reason across the board. There's any number of of things. Um, you got to leave him. You know, you got to leave him. He's not, he's not for you. No, like what? Have you guys think of any example of a guy who's been th- said that having sex was going to fuck up his career? Yeah. I mean, yeah, if sex that's... was going to fuck up a career, there would be no Hollywood agents. There would be no politicians. There would be nothing. Yeah. I we'd mean, have no presidents. No. <laughs> and I do feel like, it, and uh, you know, I don't want to say that it's like a cliche because he's in Dan's instructor, instructor that he No, I gay, know. That's why I was hesitant but, to say I thought he but might be gay. I does, but... It is weird because, but also if he wants to be a cop, he might be very scared of that being his his real identity yes. oh yeah and that yeah. might be something that he needs mm-hmm. to hide for his he wants to hide you know because he feels yeah. like he can't get that job mm-hmm. but and it's also like a macho job so yeah. that could be him compensating in some way right. too right. so i mean who knows yeah. if that if that, that, if that, that is not, or not it might not be related but yeah. like that's but also not I'm your sorry, concern honey but like if your boyfriend knows i'm gonna fuck you he might be gay yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah i mean come on <laughs> yeah no it's um, Dan Savage says this thing all the time where like when couples go to counseling, the, the, the part of the couple that wants to have sex is generally shamed and he thinks it's complete bullshit because it's just two different libidos together. So regardless of what his actual attraction is, it's just like if your libidos don't line up, mm-hmm. then you're fucking done. It's mm-hmm. not working Yeah, out. then it's absolutely not done. I think the, o- like I've said before, I think the only two things you really need for a relationship are you guys like to fuck each other and you're good friends. Yeah. You don't have yeah. one of those things in this equation. So yeah. you don't have it. either of these things. Because if you're falling asleep, right. if you're going to bed, like yeah, if you're crying, crying girl, read this back to yourself. You told us that you're crying yourself to sleep at night over this no. guy. Fuck no. this dude. No, no boyfriend you're should make out. you cry yourself to sleep at night. Yeah. Yes. No. Uh-uh. We will uh-uh. not let this stand. No. Please send us an email as soon as the deed is done. <laughs> yeah. Get out of this. You're 21. You're beautiful. Get uh, on fucking I'm, Tinder and find another guy. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm going to use. Or be, yeah. Oh wait, I have a I, th- I have a thing that she can use, uh, which I've been using. I watched the first episode of Nashville again recently. Oh, and there's a moment when Connie Britton kind of freaks out and she goes, "Sorry, y'all, I just had a diva dip. Have, a, like diva dip. have <laughs> a diva dip. I like it. Don't think dip. of yourself as doing bad person. You're gonna get to have a moment where you just get to say what the fuck you want, and yeah. you're done. You're out. Yeah. Oh, and this will be good have practice. a diva dip because I guarantee you, you're gonna run into some d bags in the future, and yeah. this will be good training wheels for you. Yeah, get yeah. A, get your Lose diva dip for, mm-hmm. out of the way here. Yeah, no, this guy is manipulative, and if he doesn't want to fuck you, he's not your boyfriend. No, yes, no, no, he's just your friend. Yeah, you're, you're and not a shitty, even your and friend. A shitty friend no, at that. Not even your friend. Yeah. And a shitty friend. A shitty friend would not have made you stay in this relationship for years. He's a rude no. acquaintance. You're you put in your time. Years. No. Bye bye. Yeah. Get get rid of him. Sorry. You got to get rid of him. (laughs) Yeah. Find somebody us, better. You deserve better. Let us know how it goes. Yeah, that's not Bye. right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Hey, and we're back. 
back from Lady to Lady. I'm Brandy. I'm Barbara. I'm Tess. And we're here with your lady problem. We're going to reach on back into the mailbag. Mail, mailbag. Mail, 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 yeah. yeah, we appreciate we've, that. We've gotten uh, some really great responses from people um, whose lady problems we talked about. Yeah. We solved, we solved your we problems. Solved, we solved, solved your problems. problems. Oh, we oh didn't know acoustic. It. We didn't solve that song. Oh. Acoustic oh. is even Sorry. better. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are a few responses that we've had, uh, you mm-hmm. know. This one is from uh, the lady that had the stanky feet cubicle partner yes the the partner who she said we did a very accurate impression <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my god it's awesome because she tried to record the honky uh the, her words the honky snort breathing but she couldn't get it it made me so happy that yeah. you tried though. thank you for trying yeah i appreciate that i love imagining her like listening to <laughs> well she said that she okay so she said that she listened to it in the middle of a crowded street and she laughed really hard which makes me really happy <laughs> And she loved the idea of um, her coworker just saying, these drugs are good in her bathroom. <laughs> I just, I'm glad we can bring those joys to your day. Okay, so here's her update. On Friday, she emailed her brother and she tried to be cool. and Because um, the girl's brother worked with worked them. Worked with her, yes. yes. Yeah. Um, I tried to be cool and led with not knowing what was up with her congestion and then that I don't think she can smell much, her foot smell, etc. I just asked if he could think of a kind, lighthearted way to approach her about it without it upsetting her. And I got exactly what I wanted, which was him responding with, no problem, I'll handle it. Oh. Thank goodness. Uh, I wish I could have heard that conversation, Conversation, but also not at all. So this week, the sho- shoes are put away and the socks are gone. I don't know about the tights because it's warmed up, um, so she oh, hasn't God. had any on. <laughs> but it's been better for now. Hallelujah. If she's an animingus, I think she transforms into a war dog. Oh, bless. <laughs> oh, girl. And then she also says that the bathroom sound uh, was kind of like a tap, tap, tap. So, but sort of cardboardy like so she's I mean that sounds Yeah, like she's cutting lines of some kind. Yeah. She says she's never seemed coked out but she because she's not super high energy but i mean whatever the, the important thing is that your cube doesn't smell and we're really and that you yeah you yeah. did some better you had somebody to talk to thank god yeah that um, just goes a lot of our advice is just like you know address the person that you don't want to address in a kind respectful way and then you know or their sibling or their sibling I, like we said we have i have so many people in my life that it's like god i wish i had just like I wish we had an anonymous email service. We've talked about this where yeah. you could just like, this person needs to know some shit, but I don't want to be the one to tell them. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> For man. the love of God. I like... don't even want to know what would be in mine. Though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know that either, would but me. like, yeah, yeah. I know it would, but I'm not saying all the time, but I'm saying for people who pull bullshit that's not okay you know yeah, yeah. yeah. and i think we're pretty hopefully self-aware people who are mm-hmm. you know try to be good to others but some people just need to be told that they're yeah. like to stop some shit mm-hmm. but you can't be the one to tell them because yeah. you're you know and you feel shouldn't bad have forever. to be yeah yeah so to God, all the brother so that to that brother thank you yeah for taking the oh god i want to know what did he say <laughs> dude it's your brother it's your brother yeah your, your brother, brother has no problem telling you you stink yeah, yeah. exactly your brother yeah. can come over and just smell you and be like yo, yo. stop bringing those socks to work because yeah. they are shitty yeah. like a brother will do that and then it's it'll come from them yeah <laughs> i remember one time i had like one fake eyelash that was longer than the rest of them and i thought i was pulling it off my brother was like do you want fucking eyelashes longer than the other? like your brother is like gonna call you out on some yeah shit, yeah you know? mm-hmm. yeah good All call right. yeah when in doubt ask your brother yeah um okay next up response Hello, ladies. I just want to thank you for helping me out with my lady problem from episode 118, which is me not knowing how to deal with my mom blowing me off after my babe was born and put into the uh, NICU. Your insight was greatly helpful. I was entirely too close to the situation and unable to look at it objectively, which we've talked about, I think is. Yeah, it's a big part of it. When you hear your things spoken out, you're like, oh, God, Mm -hmm. it's a lot Mm -hmm. easier to kind of see what's going on. Yeah. Um, It never even occurred to me that my mom may not actually know how to be there for me after years of not needing to be. You had a lot of great points that helped me to feel better about the situation and gave me an outline for having a difficult conversation with my mom. I'm happy to say we got through it and are talking regularly again. She's even been more involved with my baby. I feel much, much better about things. Uh, Words can express how grateful I am. Thanks for being there during an incredibly difficult situations in my life. Um, And she attached a picture of yeah. her kid oh my god her kid is her so cute yeah, it's definitely on my refrigerator now because <laughs> i'm a grandma and that's what i'm gonna do yep honorary <laughs> third grandma brandy mm-hmm. um thank you so much that's so sweet of you to write back and i'm so yeah. glad it worked out yeah i'm so i'm so happy those conversations are the hardest to have those like close family <sighs> yeah. things mm-hmm. are just so weird yeah and i'm really glad that you were able to talk to her about it and it sounds mm-hmm. like yeah it's going well so yeah we're great 
Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Morals. You're welcome. Yeah. Congratulations. All right. This next one. Hi, ladies. I wrote to you nearly a year ago about, about having trouble making lady friends after relocating to Davis, California. I, ma- I made Tess's advice that staying in with your boyfriend and watching Netflix is hitting the snooze button on life. My new mantra. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I went to almost everything I was invited to, even the weird things. Oh, hell yeah. The weird things are the best. That's key. Yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And that's also really admirable. It's not easy. It's one it, thing to say you're going to do it. not easy. But just to step actually, outside of yeah. your comfort zone, big deal. Not every lady has been for me. I went to drinks with my former coworker, and she asked if I have a heavy menstrual flow <laughs> because it's an indicator that I might have the same anxiety disorder that she does. I can't with that. No. <laughs> like, I, I know exactly how she asked and She was like, do you have a heavy yeah, menstrual flow? There was one long word strung together. Yeah. And yeah. like period talk with a girlfriend is the same as like going into immediate butt stuff with a romantic partner. You <laughs> yes. Just, you got to yeah. earn that. Yeah. 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 Don't be the butt stuff too. Don't friend. be butt stuff. Oh, friendship. Friendship. No. <laughs> don't be period, period flow period flow. don't be period flow Ew. period talk Tamra. No. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i know thanks lady to lady that i shouldn't settle and turn down an offer to have her make my star chart for me <laughs> good very for good proud of you that's the, you got to run away from people who are too into astronomy astrology yeah. astrology astrology, astrology. Uh, or just who are trying way too hard to get you to be their friends really that's always an indication yes. yeah, yeah. you know i'm actually well <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to shake this this girl who's like getting kind of stalkery with me and I, I had the instinct six years ago <laughs> I knew like two you I knew. knew like two weeks in you always know that she wasn't right Ugh. but she was like overly friendly and I have kind yeah. of boundary issues and uh, I let her and I can't shake her I think I might have finally started to shake her good but I'm talking like it's been upwards of six yeah, months it's been one way. Yeah. she's texted me um, she, no but this girl was like texting me emailing me tagging me in memes about friendship oh, every no. day don't tag a bitch in a meme don't oh, do that oh i was getting tagged in memes mm-hmm. up the wahoo <laughs> and I, I you know i should have known you know the first time she you know six to, years yeah well it's, it's, yeah it's hard to get out of those. no i mean i tried to break up with this girl like multiple times yeah multiple. when i broke up with my ex um I told her that I like wanted some space and like just didn't really yeah. I just wanted space from her. Like I didn't want to see her. And I, it was like the night that I was going to be like getting my shit out of the apartment. So like I had a stand up show, like I just needed to get out of the house to do stand up. And yeah. it was going to be like an emotional night. Like we were like separating our stuff yeah. and she showed up unannounced while I was at my stand up. I was like, where's Tess? I'm really worried about her. She hasn't been recalled. Oh no. And I see, asked that her. shit's about her. That's not even about you. Exactly. Uh uh-uh. Yeah. So if you're listening to this, please leave me alone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Lady problem solved. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to this girl. Yeah, Eventually, yeah. I did find a group of ladies from work to hang out with. We started a book club. Love it. Brunch mm-hmm. regularly. And I'm hosting a Spice Girls themed cocktail party next month. Awesome. Yes. Love all of these things. Please send us the fu- the um like the drinks. Yeah, that your you drink menu did. for that. That's because I can't think of any puns right now, but I'm sure there's some good ones. Spice. Yeah. Ginger spice whiskey. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Um. Anyway, looking forward to all the future talk of labia and dick pics, Kate. Mm-hmm. Ah, we love you, Kate. Yeah, we love you. Um, yeah, we. You know, thank you so much, everybody who wrote yeah. in. It's been really cool to get emails from girls who, you know, like we just talk and we bullshit on here, mm-hmm. but we. But sometimes people write to us and we realize that like we're actually helping people. Yeah. through stuff and, and that feels, means a lot it feels really really good yeah you know i mean like i think half a reason like we all got into comedy is like to be funny and like comedy helps has helped us a lot in our lives so it's like great to be able to give that back to other people yeah agree mm-hmm. yeah thank, so you, thank you, so you so much, much for uh writing and reaching out to us and listening to the show everyone yeah, oh, yeah all of you <laughs> of course yeah. thank you we really appreciate it <laughs> we do and we're yeah. gonna read we're gonna do uh one more lady one problem. last lady problem here okay the situation I've had a regular friends with benefits arrangement with a guy for the last five months. It's been awesome. We have lots in common. We actually have fun hanging out without crossing over into the dreaded boyfriend girlfriend relationship. And the sex is awesome. That's this great. is in large part due to his perfect, at least in my opinion, cock. It's just <laughs> the right shape and size for what I like. I've definitely told him how much I like fucking him. But I really want to say is I love your cock. But uh, <laughs> but I'm worried that it might not be appropriate to use the L word even in this context. I don't want to ruin a fun thing and scare him off. Is it just too soon? When is it okay to tell a guy you love his dick? Oh, oh. there is nothing worse than like being in a hookup mode and like 
hearing a song that's mm-hmm. just like, I love you. And like, you're just like, oh, God. Like, yeah, yeah. Don't get worry. That word I don't think those lyrics yeah, apply to us. Yeah, get that word yeah. away from our situation, <laughs> please. Yeah. Yeah. So true. This playlist does not apply to us specifically. Oh, my God. Can we release <laughs> like an album that is like a hookup album that will never be romantic, but only like fucking. Why don't we uh, make that on Spotify? We can make that a yeah. public yes, list on Spotify. Yes. That, like, Let's do it. Like, if you have suggestions for that list, please email them to us. Friends with benefits fucking yeah, uh, Friends with benefits fuck list. We're going to make that yeah, a public list on Spotify. We'll let you know when the link is up. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, <laughs> we, we're, we can do this on the road trip. Yeah, uh, we'll definitely work on that on the road trip. Okay, here's the thing with the cock. I, I think it's fine. Like I've definitely been in hookup situations with guys who've been like, I love your tits or I love your pussy or whatever. Yeah. And yeah, I didn't I don't think, think they loved me. Yeah, no. It- <laughs> <laughs> At all. <laughs> yeah, I also have never gotten that confused with <laughs> them loving me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's it. That's, that's, that's it. That's the whole thing. Kind of what it comes down to. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like you guys have been very casual and good about it and not like in weird territory. Yeah. So tell him you love his cock. You tell him you love his cock. Say, Get it, girl. You love his cock. Yeah. <laughs> I love your cock. Not you. I love just yeah, make sure to not go, I love your and don't then don't put your mouth on his dick at that moment. Make right. sure you yeah, get yeah, the yeah. whole words all the words. Finish out. the sentence before you open your mouth all the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love you. Yeah. Um Mazeltov and coming up and co- having a good friends with benefits range. Isn't that great? That's a blessing. Mm-hmm. If you can find a guy that you can just really have a great FWB relation with, mm-hmm. that is <laughs> really FWB relation. <laughs> the name obviously the name of our playlist. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. It's spelled out E F F. Oh yeah. W. Yeah, D U B B U E U. I don't know. Um Love it. Yeah, uh, that was easy. But yeah, just say it. Yeah, yeah just fucking just say, say it. it. Uh, and wink when you say girls it. around the world, write us with your lady problems at Lady guys, Lady. Too. And guys, and guys, excuse yeah. me. We'll take, we'll take and all then, your and and everything in between. And uh, yeah, we'll like all flavors of ice cream. Bring it on, baby. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll solve your lady problems. Yeah, Lady to Lady Maximum Fun dot org. We've had so much fun answering all your guys' stuff, and we look forward to answering more. Mm-hmm. And if we still haven't gotten to you, we're working on it. Yes, we yes. promise we're really working on it. And uh, also, we look out for. I'm just going to say it. We have a new video thing coming out. We'll oh, yes. be answering lady problems. Yeah. Yes. So look for those coming out soon. Yes. And you can see our faces when yeah. we talk about Especially it. Especially if you have a problem that you think is kind of like off the wall or weird. That'd be great for the videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we're don't all about have anything. To be, yeah, yeah. Anything. Doesn't yeah. all have to be sexy stuff. Yeah. Do you guys exactly. have any lady problems? Are we all doing okay? I told you mine. What? My the stalker. Friend. The stalker Oh, yeah. Friend. The stalker yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We saw. I was going to ask you guys about this on the show. Yeah. Because I can't. I sh- I mean, we, yeah, I, I'm you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta either do the like, fuck you, don't talk to me, or the slow fade. It's one she of the just, other. I did both. both. Yeah, both. I, I did both for years. <sighs> but you haven't said like, I can't be your friend. No, the last time I specifically said, I said, I feel like you're not at all respecting my boundaries. Every time I see an email from you, it gives me anxiety. Ugh. Please stop messaging me. And she kept going. And she's Dude friended blocker. my bro- my brother is like a really private person, and she friended him on Facebook. She's probably friends with you guys on Facebook. She's friends with all. I saw her like she's friends. She like goes into my friend list and poaches friends from my friend list. Is she also blonde? Does she is she like single white femaleing you? Do I yes. need to do I need to come after somebody? Yes. All right. Well, you know what she doesn't have? She doesn't have a brandy and a Barbara. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Right. And what she, she never she gets them. Well. She shows up with. <laughs> I started the girl on my... girl podcast. God. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like the Bizarro Seinfeld episode. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't man. know. I might have finally shaken her. It's been like a week it's since been. she's made contacts. Maybe. Oh, God. <laughs> no, you guys, it's bad. Like, and yeah. then I feel bad because, like, I'm a person. Of course. Of course. You yeah, know, yeah. I feel I'm not the type of person that would normally just continually ignore texts and emails. But yeah. I don't you know what else to. to do. Yeah. yeah. People are busy. Don't email me so much. You know what I mean? Except for you listeners. You're Brittany. Email us. She's some, she's clamoring for a piece. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And you, you have to give her a piece, piece of, of me. Her. <laughs> I don't know what my, I don't know what she that advice She does want was. a piece of What me. would Brittany yeah. do? Oh. Um, Brittany would act really socially anxious and then walk away. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. That's what, I, that's, that's what I'll do. <laughs> Let's shave her head <laughs> and leave her. In the Brittany would yeah. shave her head over this. Yeah. There was much more leading up to that. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, We love you guys. Thank you for listening. Thanks for listening. We'll see See you you next next week. week. (laughs) 
can't get enough of us, subscribe to our Patreon for exclusive bonus content, access to our first 100 episodes, and more. Go to patreon.com slash lady to lady now to sign up. As little as a dollar a month keeps a roof over the glam cave and keeps you laughing, even when your coworkers stare. That's patreon.com slash lady to lady. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Twitter and Instagram at lady to lady comedy. Join our Facebook group, Lady to Lady Podcasts, to chat with other fans about episodes or even post your own lady problems. Check out our website, ladytoladycomedy.com, for show notes, videos, and merch. And duh, follow our individual accounts, Babs Gray, Brand Dazzle, and Testify Barker for jokes and info and where you can see us perform live. And if you want to send us snacks, stickers, or a lock of your own hair, I don't know, whatever, our P.O. Box is 412-794-Los Angeles, California, 90041. And please, leave us a review on iTunes, but only if you like us. We love you. We love bye. you. Bye. 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 Bye.